hello everyone welcome to part 26 of laravel 9 series in which we are creating the multi vendor e-commerce website okay so finally we are going to start working on the e-commerce modules e-shop modules in which we will add the sections module categories module products module attributes module images module okay everything related to e-commerce like uh, we have seen the amazon website flipkart website all the big portals are using the e-commerce modules e-commerce related uh, admin panel they are using okay so we will also use those modules e-commerce related admin panel we are going to make and first one is the section module so i'm going to show you what sections exactly okay so let's come to the design once again that we will uh, use so this is the design of our e-commerce website that we are going to use and here you can see the sections these are the sections clothing electronics appliances so these sections are having the categories these are the categories men women and kids and these are the subcategories in under men t-shirts and shirts come under women tops and denims comes under kids t-shirts shirts and shorts come and in the same way electronics section is further uh, having the categories and subcategories like computers mobiles accessories and the same thing amazon on and another websites follow and you can check in amazon as well you can go here all option and here also you can see the shop by department and here you can see the mobile and categories again uh, these are all sections they have also used the same thing okay so same kind of thing we are going to make here you can see the men's fashion women fashion see these sections categories and subcategories are all depend upon you we are going to make it dynamic okay you can choose your own section you can choose your own categories and subcategories okay and it is almost identical to amazon you can see the appliances here in uh, under appliances there are heavy, uh, we are having the televisions and all other stuff okay and the same way uh, we are using the same thing appliances televisions and headphones cameras okay so i pick some of the categories some of the sections categories and subcategories from the amazon itself and from the other websites as well okay so that uh, we can make the identical type of website or the identical type of multi-vendor e-commerce website in laravel 9 so uh, let's uh, once again i'm going to tell you that uh, we are going to have the sections first thing is we are going to have the sections okay and then under sections uh, we are going to have the categories okay there can be categories and this one categories and under those categories uh, there can be subcategories okay subcategories will come and under those subcategories we are going to have the products okay so these are the products and under those products we are going to manage the attribute so this is kind of structure of the e-commerce website so we are going to manage this one uh, like uh, see sections first of all we talk about the sections. sections can be clothing clothing can be the section okay i take the example of the clothing okay clothing is the section so under clothing what will come uh, as category like men and women we can add as uh, categories and under men and women we again are having like t-shirts okay and uh, we can have the denims here also we can have the tops and denims okay so this is the kind of the structure and if we will talk about uh, like some other section uh, like electronics electronics as section and then electronics will further uh, we'll have the mobiles and computers okay so this one will have the further sections uh, like mobiles can be smartphones see further categories sorry smartphones and uh, that normal uh, phones whatever we call them okay uh, simple phones normal phones okay so these computers will having the laptops and desktops so such kind of structure see here uh, this one is the section okay these are the categories 
and these are the subcategories and under those we are going to manage the products so i hope that everything is clear and in this video we are going to start working on its table sections table straight away uh, that is fully dynamic uh, we can add edit delete the sections in advanced e-commerce series we just uh, can't do anything see that is fixed we have created the uh, we have created that men women and kids sections and that's it but here in multi vendor e-commerce website uh, we will give the option to add remove delete you can do anything you can add your own sections you can add your own categories subcategories products attributes it's full flexible okay full flexibility we are going to give so let's start uh, first of all we are going to create the table the sections table uh, with the migration command so i'm going to straight away uh, run uh, those migrations uh, command like php artisan uh, make uh, migration and we are going to create a sections table okay so this one we are going to open we are going to close the earlier files and i'm going to open the create sections table okay so in this table we are going to have uh, only two columns that is required to one is we are going to have the string for the name for the section name and the another one uh, we are going to make like uh, uh, we are going to make something like tiny integer uh, for the status so that we can make the sections active or inactive anytime okay so these two columns are enough one is the name and one is the status okay rest created and updated and id columns will automatically get created okay so i will run the command php artisan oh sorry uh, that uh, yeah php artisan migrate this is the command so that we can create the section table so it has been created we are going to check we'll go our folder and see the sections table has been created okay you can see section table has been created uh, now we will also create the section model as well php artisan make a model because section model we are going to use a lot so all model we are required section model for the sections table okay so it has been created as well so we are also going to create the section controller as well in the admin okay like we have done in the advanced e-commerce series as well that we have done in laravel 8 starting from the laravel 6 then laravel 7 then laravel 8 okay so that uh, section controller file we are going to create uh, inside the uh, admin folder okay so let's check the admin folder once again here uh, sorry not this one this is our ecom 9 folder and here app http controllers and admin here we are going to create all the controller files okay so we are going to create uh, php artisan make controller and we are going to create like admin under admin folder we are going to create the section controller you can make it sections controller or section controller it's up to you okay so section con uh, controller we are going to make okay so it has been created you can see so we are going to open this one section controller so it's fine okay so uh, now we are going to create uh, some of the section uh, manually we are uh, sorry with cedar we are going to create some of the section okay so for that uh, we will run one more command here uh, so to create the cedar file php artisan make cedar sections table cedar okay so we are going to open this file sections table cedar and here we are going to write the code first of all we are going to uh, include the model use app models section and now 
uh, we are going to add here all the records that we want to insert like section records okay so we are going to add uh, all the records all the sections that we want to insert starting from the id one name clothing and status as one okay fine id2 id3 electronics and one more appliances appliances okay spellings are correct okay electronics fine so all three we have added so now uh, we will just simply section insert the section records so that's done and now we are going to open the database cedar file database cedar and here uh, we are going to comment this one and we'll add the uh, new section table cedar this one here and now we are ready to run one final command php addition dbc dbc okay so it has been done now we are going to check we able to insert few of the sections here and yes clothing electronics and appliances we able to get these section we able to add these sections don't worry these sections we are going to add from the admin panel and that time created um, updated dates will also get inserted we are going to show these sections in the next video we are going to so show in admin panel uh, in the uh, in the super admin okay so in super admin panel we are going to show these sections here okay we are going to show one uh, like uh, we will uh, add one more tab a main tab like catalog management in which we are going to show the sections categories products everything okay in that section we are going to show these sections and we will add the option of add remove edit these sections okay at that time we are going to get this one empty and we'll add the section from the admin panel as well okay so please stay tuned for that and we are going to do much more things so if you have any queries you can surely contact me that's all for now have a nice time goodbye